So this is my aunt and uncle's place. It's an old converted barn into a home over in uh, Cape Junction. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. One of my favorite places in all of Oregon. And they've just, you know, turned this house into a home. <clears throat> it's sitting on a bunch of acres back by BLM in a, in a beautiful river. And honestly, every time I go and visit my family here, it just feels like home. There's just something about being born in a place that's got so many beautiful trees and wonderful rivers and lakes just absolutely everywhere. It's like pretty much you're basically in a playground. And it's so funny because I didn't realize how many natural resources you have with all these trees until I moved to Mexico, which we have a bunch of trees here, but you know, they've got some really amazing trees over there as well. So we're going to actually be going in today and we're going to be uh, cutting up a nice cedar tree for my friend Mark Dial's uh, gate that he's going to be building. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little journey and subscribe and like and comment and do all the stuff, please. So we're out here in the woods right now. We're about to mill some lumber. A nice little tracker here. And then we got this little beauty, this little beauty over here. This is a serious mill right here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My uncle got the sawmill and he's been doing all kinds of stuff with it. And it's nice because he's got, you know, acres to, to harvest if he needs to. And and it's just absolutely, absolutely magical. I mean, to have a sawmill like this, it gives you a power that you don't have otherwise. I mean, especially if you're a hands-on kind of person. You know, I've always got some kind of crazy project going and my uncle ended up giving me a sawmill to uh, a small chainsaw attachment sawmill so that I can do some of that stuff here. I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so. There's also a couple techniques that uh, I've checked out online on how to to cut lumber without using even a sawmill. And it's basically just a technique. It's kind of like a ha hashing motion that you use. I'd like to show you guys that and see if that's uh see if that's a thing anyhow i think one of the best parts about living out in um you know these wooded areas is that you you pretty much you can never really be bored some of my fondest memories were actually just going out to like the illinois river valley and going to an epic swimming spot and basically spending the day out there you know having drinks and hanging out and doing the thing. You know, one of the other things that I really love about this area is that it's relatively clean most of the time. Of course, there's some disrespectful people in the world, but for the most part, people clean up after themselves. And over here in Mexico, there's a lot of trash and, you know, people, they just kind of throw their trash on the side of the road. But uh, that's probably my, my biggest foible I have with the area down here. <clears throat> but like I said, over there, it's really nice. And, um, you know, there's Immigrant Lake, Applegate Lake, Squaw Lake, you know, there's Upper and Lower Squaw, there's, you know, if you want to go to Tahoe, it's super close, you know, um, Castle Lake, Heart Lake, Lost Creek Lake, I mean, seriously, the amount of lakes, that, and lakes in beautiful river spots, like Rogue River has some of the best fishing in the world, and it's one of these crazy things where like I said, you can really never be bored as long as you've got a will and, you know, you, you got a little bit of ambition. You're not in, like, some weird depression funk or something like that. It's like you've got 
you got so much to do and this is kind of how I was raised and I grew up always working on a project working on cars working on you know building something you know we're always building working on something trying to make the world a better place and it's crazy because you don't really I don't know I don't see that a whole lot these days I don't I don't it's not very common to see that you know <clears throat> people that have more of a I see more people on their phones these days than anything else I mean I spend a lot of time on my phone editing videos and and working on stuff but I've really kind of tapered away from social media and Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of crazy stuff so that I can actually focus on things that actually matter with Audrey and I actually having a tiny human going to be coming into the world soon you know it's like we're trying to figure out ways that we can actually capitalize you know start some businesses get some stuff going you know videos are fun I like making them but they're not paying the bills at all so <clears throat> that's kind of one of those things where one of the main reasons I stopped was because I noticed that I wasn't actually um, I wasn't actually making any money so it's like basically at this point for me it's kind of a waste of time but then again I really want to leave it for my kids to see you know this is the kind of stuff that we were up to before that they were they were born and we want to leave a legacy behind we want to show other people how to do what it is that we're gonna be doing so we're really here to change the world and we have a lot of stuff coming uh, we basically just need financial stability to be able to pull off what it is that we're going to be doing and you know we're in the process of doing that so i think that this has been another one of those fun little the footsteps of our reality we're just completely blessed to have a wonderful beautiful life and you know we've got good friends like mark dial and good family just always around being helpful and supportive and we're so unbelievably thankful and and stoked to have you guys along for the journey too so thank you good sir i hope you liked our little sawmill thing and i hope you guys enjoy what we've got in store i've got a bunch of other videos that are coming oh look at the mogwai he's hanging out with us yeah we got him from bryce and we're basically hanging out with the mogwai for for a couple days and then when we came back to Mexico we dropped him back off before we left. So it's my uncle's shop, his little wood shop. It's a beautiful little area. If I lived in this place, I would be in this place, in this shop, all day, every day. And that's just how I do things. <laughs> so like I said once again, it's been such a pleasure to have you guys. Thanks again for joining us on our footsteps of reality. And join us next week for a flow jam over in Squaw Lake. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Have a good one. Subscribe, like, and do the thing. Love your faces. And have a beautiful day.